Hello everybody, Bill Thornton, SoCal Sabre here, and today we're back with Jeff Davis, The Confederacy at War, by White Dog's Game, published by White Dog's Games, and today I'm going to be playing a turn so that you can see the gameplay of this one. There's a couple things that I'm going to show you that I really like about this. This is a sequence of play chart and on a sequence of play next there every single action is the rule reference which makes it really quick for looking something up and continuing on with the game and I really like that there's a couple of charts here now as you can see me pointing to this one up here I'll be showing you that when it comes into play but this is the main board and all of the stuff that's on it as you can see up here in Washington, we got General McClellan and Lincoln. And then over here in Manassas is Van Doren. And then we got the, uh, what, what are they called? There's some sort of a unit. But anyway, <clears throat> this is pathways that they got to go down to try to, to beat me and everything. Some of the things that have happened uh, over here, Kentucky was neutral at the beginning of the game, and then that prohibited anybody from going into Kentucky. But now <clears throat> something happened. They violated, the Confederates violated, and Kentucky joined the Union. So they told me to put this minus one marker here in the Heartland Offensive. But I can't find anywhere in the rule book what I'm supposed to be doing with this. So since it's Kentucky, I'm going to say that if any of my uh, Confederate generals have to do a die roll in Kentucky, I'm going to take one or modify the die roll by one. <clears throat> Got Grant up here. He's been kind of held up. He's been trying to advance. But in uh, Paducah, no, Cairo, there's been rebel Missouri, Missouri rebels in there and have been holding him up from coming down. They've tried to advance several times. This, uh, if I'll tell you ahead of time that this this predicts the game because it deals with everything in the history does have the use of slaves in it, and so if that bothers somebody, they probably should stay away from the game. But they were part of the history then. I haven't ha used them yet. And I'm trying not to use them if I can if I don't have to. They have to deal with certain things, and I'll, which I'll show you along the way. Down here, we have our, we're in control. Beside the, we're in the worrying about the battles and everything, we got to monitor our agricultural track, our manufacturing track, and our in, infrastructure track from going down too far. We'll try to get going. We're starting to lose a little bit here. General pulls. And then I haven't had to use any of these guys yet either. Right now, states' rights is in effect, so any any role I have anywhere on the board is a minus one. <clears throat> and I can't get that out of here because of those tiles. There is a, this is a chit pull. I have all these chits in here. I'll be pulling one out here shortly. It's the first thing we do in a turn. But anyway, let's get to it and, and uh, hope I don't flubber it up too much for you. I know a couple people might have been waiting. I really liking this. Uh, there, for a small game, it has got a lot of stuff going on and a lot of stuff. So the first thing we're going to do is draw a chit. Let me. Okay. And we have drawn a chit. Okay. I'll explain those things. I'll explain this again when we get to it. All right, so it's going to go over here onto this board. I'll show you this board in a second. Okay. Then the sec next thing we're going to do is naval action. So I'm going to come over to this board. This is how I make the money. I hope nobody got dizzy when watching that. This is naval actions. <clears throat> I have blockade runners right here. Their success is what's going to bring me money. So I'm going to be putting them over here. On dice roll things and I'll show you the chart when we get there all right so I'm gonna say I'm gonna put him on s uh, three if he survives he's gonna bring in three dollars this guy will bring in two C he'll bring in two dollars this guy will bring in four dollars if he survives 
and then we'll bring in another two dollar guy <clears throat> okay so now what we're gonna do we're gonna roll two dice they don't come with the game <laughs> I just picked yellow for the heck of it then we're gonna be looking at the back of this chart here all right so I'm first I'm gonna roll the dice and it's a four so we're gonna go across down here to four as you can see there's two frigates out here okay so we're gonna go across the two frigates and they're gonna go three and three this is not good okay I'll, I'll show you why they're both going to go in the th number section number three which is right here if if you ever you have a roll on this chart and both of them go into one <coughs> blockade runner he is sunk so I got to take this blockade runner and put them back into the English shipyards and try to build them later then I can take these back <coughs> so what we're doing here is we're getting two dollars four dollars and eight dollars that's a pretty good hole and this is this the treasury i put money into the uh, campaign budget but you can't take it back out of there and i haven't figured out how i'm supposed to do with it yet so anyway that was <coughs> that 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 was called naval actions now we're going to go on calendar events Okay, so we're in November of 1861. You see there is a calendar event here. It's the CSA elections. So right away, I'm going to jump over to 1151. It's another thing. They're putting them right on the, the reference there. It says the CSA election of 1861. Count the number of your economic assets on the, the map. Factories, railroad companies, and plantations depleted plantations are still yours so I'll count them what I have on the map okay I got one two three four get down here let me start over again these defensive works don't count so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What do we got under? Eleven. There's under AP Hill. What do we got? There's twelve under him. Let's see what's under bluegrass. No, oh, it's artillery. Artillery. So twelve. <coughs> So now I'm going to finish reading it, and it says, If you have fewer than 12 assets, you must lose the difference in, gen in general, a general star. See the stars that are on the, the generals? Lose one of those stars. You don't want to lose one and then have to go into battle. One slave or, or money from the treasury. So if he has 10 assets, you must lose two of the aforementioned valuables. Note that the loss of slaves incurs, in, in, incurs a foreign intervention penalty. So when we go there, well, I'm not going to be using slaves because I, I don't have a problem there. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, be doing the chit. Okay. This is... The chit. The one is not going to be in a play because there has to be a, a one. It won't come into play unless the sustain the yellow one, unless there's this the sustain marker is on the calendar. The sustained offensive is on up on the calendar, but it's not. But the next one is two. We go right to left, out the bottom. And this is going to be an advance in area number two which is right here, which means that these guys are moving in to Harper's Ferry. So there is going to be a battle there later. Then we're going to five. Okay, this is this is Grant. He's still stuck up here with these Missouri rebels. So we, see, the, there's... i got to bring you back over here. I'm sorry. See, there's two uh, on that thing. We flip it over to one. So there's only one more time they're going to hold him up. Let's get this back over here. And 
and he was right here. Okay, so he didn't move down yet. <clears throat> A.S. Johnson's down here, and where's Paducah? Yeah, it is Paducah. <clears throat> Waiting for some action, I guess. And then another one advance over here is six on the Six is going to advance. This is the Gulf, the Army of the Gulf. They're going to move up here to New Orleans, We're going into New Orleans, where AP Hill's waiting for them. So we are going to have a battle there. Okay, that was the check for advances, and we roll. There's no roll for foreign intervention on the chip. There would be a this. Uh, I'll show you this one here. This was already on there. The top left there's the red and white there. I would roll one roll for the British intervention and one roll for the French intervention and then whatever the result is, move them up on the chart that far. That other thing, that cotton, if that was on there, then it would move this cotton over here one down. So I escaped those two this time. Okay, so there are no economic losses because none, none of these symbols here are on that sh shit that I showed you. The next one would be money from Mexico. That would only happen if a certain thing comes up on the that uh, shit I just pulled also. Same with lines cut. When you get lines cut, what that means is wherever they're put in that line going down, the lines of communication have been cut. And it could be cut for you or, which will create a minus one, or for the the U.S., and that would be a plus one. But we don't have any of that to deal with. The Army of the Gulf, which is already out there. The Union Advance, we did those. Okay. Now we're going to do player attacks the Union Armies. Okay, so what we're going to do up here, in order to attack, let me make sure you see it. we got Beauregard here. He's got an artillery, but I'll give him a plus one. But, see, he's got two yellow stars in there. So I have to pay this by turning it over to one. Now, my roll has to be equal to or better, or equal or better than their two. Okay? And we have this minus one down here. But I don't have to use my artillery to offset this minus one unless the roll dictates it. Okay, so I'm going to roll one d6 and it's a five and so i don't have to use my artillery and we push them back there's a sports announcement on my phone okay so now we're going to go over here to the, the army of the golf now ap hill doesn't have any artillery or anything uh, and so he's going to have to do three and also got the minus one so he's in a little bit of trouble here so we're going to we're going to flip A.T. Hill over to his pay for it with the red. Okay, and then we're going to go. We need a big one. And it's a six. So with the luck of the roll, he pushes him back down out of there. Okay, that was pretty good. Okay, now we're going to go into the... I, I have to save some money to upgrade, to, to reinforce these guys in there. We're going into what's called the economic effort, earn economic bonuses, okay? So we're going to go down here to the agricultural level. We want to get it moving back up a bit more. So we're going to pay $1 from our treasury to roll one die, and we need to roll a four to get it into it, a four or better. And we rolled a two. So we're going to do it again. We got six dollars left over there in that treasury. And this one's a five. <clears throat> I don't believe that. I may be wrong, but I don't believe that minus one states rights affects the roll on here. But it wouldn't affect it that one anyway. It's still been good. Let me look it up real quick. No, that doesn't. That minus one in states rights only is on all attacks. So I had to play the right up there. Okay, so here's what we're going to try to do. 
we're going to try to move this artillery into here to get this bonus artillery pawn here. So we have to roll a five or higher. We've got to pay one. We've got to go for it. We've still got five dollars left in the, the kitty there. So we're going. We rolled a one. Let's try it one more time. I'd like to get AP Hell some artillery if I can. And I got a six. So it moves in there. And then we're going to collect the bonus. All right. So we're getting a, a piece of artillery here. Then I can put it with any of my guys. So I'm going to put it over here with AP Hill. Give him some more help come with this big three coming out of here. And I still have uh, $4 left. All right. Uh, but, uh, let's, uh, let's see if we can get this bonus in here. No, I don't, that bonus won't work. Let's try to get the train bonus here. And I'll explain that trains to you. Oh, as I knock everything out of the way. That was a three. Okay, one more time on that tra the train bonus. I need a five or higher. I got a four. And I'll leave it there with that there. What that would have done with the trains, you take them and you put them up here in Richmond. Then, as you're going to see in a moment, I have a chance to uh, re like reinforce my generals. Well, with the trains out there, I can do it in mid. I don't have to wait till this point to do it. I can do it in mid-game. If this guy's going to be facing another battle, I thought I, I could get him reinforced right away. So anyway, <clears throat> I already did the artillery, and we turned him back. Now I'm going to do what they call raising taxes. Okay, and that's going to move this one down one. When it does, it's going to be another dollar in over there in the Confederacy. So it's up to $4. Now, why did I do that? Because I want to get it down here, so maybe next time I can roll it in there and get another piece of artillery. There's still one piece of artillery left out there. So anyway, we're on to there. Then it goes to the turn-end phase. And Union desolation, no. Sustained offensive, no. Construct ships. I believe I can construct that ship at this point in time that I lost with $2. Yes, it's going to cost me $2 in the treasury. I'm glad I raised taxes. That's going to take me down to 2 and you'll see in a why. And that's going to take that ship that was in the built, the English shipyards back over available to me right now. <clears throat> then the next thing we're going to go down there is Confederate Logistics. So at this point in time, I can pay, unless it's a Virginian general, I can pay $1 from the treasury to, re, to simulate reinforcing them. So I'm going to take this down 1, down 2, and I'm going to turn AP Hills back over to the two stars and, and Beauregard back over the two stars. And that brings us to the end of the round, the turn. And we're going to be going on to December 1861. I hope you liked this and enjoyed it. I hope I explained everything as much as I could. There's, as you heard, me skipping a lot of other things over because they're not happening right now. Uh, but it is a game, you know, you got to make decisions, and it's not all dice rolling. So it's the decisions to make. I forgot to tell you. Now, you know, and I forgot to do this the last time that I was in port. When I earned that money from those uh, blockade runners before, I was supposed to take it down minus one dollar for this plan that's here in. It's called the Anaconda Plans. It's in, it came out and it's in one of my ports. That port is blocked, so I'm minus one. So I did make a mistake. So it would have been one, and I would have been a dollar short at the end here, and I probably would have changed the, my decisions about making the the ship and using the money to upgrade these the generals instead. So, go down there and hit that like button. Let's push this game out on the, more onto the YouTube in the world and give it a little bit more uh, love and understanding, I guess you would say. So, this is Bill, Bill Thornton, SoCal Saber, saying, until you hear me again, take care of yourselves, be kind to each other, and stay safe.